welcome back to the garage. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please go ahead, click on subscribe, and also click on that bell to receive all the updates and activities on my channel. So today we have a product review of the Oedro hard tonneau cover. And this is for a uh, current Gen 2 Colorado with a five foot two bed, right? So full transparency, uh, Oedro reached out to me and uh, supplied this uh, product for in exchange for my review, but they are not paying me for it. Uh, about three years ago, they reached out to me um, to review their soft tonneau cover, uh, the trifold, and I've had it on there for about three years. Absolutely love it, works great, no issues. And uh, they reached out to me again, and I said, hey, why don't we uh, try to do a review of the, the hard one and see how it goes. So uh, today is November 5th, and current retail pricing of this particular product is around 630 bucks on Amazon. And uh, so in the kit, obviously you're gonna get the, uh, the tonneau cover, you're gonna get a couple accessories, a couple pads, a couple uh, spare parts for the clamps. I'll show you what these are once we uh, get to that point. And then we also have a weather stripping seal that we're gonna use during the installation. Um, so why don't we go ahead and pull the truck in and get this thing out of the box and we'll get it installed and then we'll actually review the product and features and install and everything else and we'll see how it looks. All right, so this is the original cover that Oejo sent over for me to review. Again, it's about two and a half years later. Love it, uh, absolutely no issues with it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this guy off first and then we'll swing over to the other one and uh, we'll get that one installed. All right, so one thing that you have to do in preparation for this cover, um, and it pretty much says it in the manual, because here's the clamps, right? So these are the clamps are, that are towards the front of the cab, right? And basically, these are going to be right up against the bed rails, right? So what Oedra wants you to do, and I had to do this uh, last time, is um, you have to notch out any plastic that's maybe up against the, uh, the bed rails. Because if you don't, the clamp will not sit uh, in the right location. So this is what I did from the last time uh, for, on the other cover I did. And uh, I just measured uh, from the front of the cover to that relief. And it's around 11 and a half inches. And it's pretty much where it was on the other cover. So uh, so just something to be aware of that you will have to do that. If you don't like it, uh, you may want to reconsider the install. So another thing you need to be aware of is uh, if you don't have a bed line or anything like that, uh, there is a gap or a drop down or a step down from the top of the, uh, the bed cap or the bedside cap down to the uh, the, uh, the front of the bed. Um, so you all have to accommodate any type of a gap. Uh, they do include a, uh, a seal in there to accommodate for that difference. But on this particular truck, there's a bed liner installed. So I pretty much have a straight shot from side to side. So we don't have to worry about that. All right, so we have the cover up there. It's not clamped down. We have it up against the, uh, the back of the bed. So what we want to do is we want to make sure it's centered on the bed, right? And on the Colorado, there's a nice uh, witness line on the cap. And so all we're going to do is we're going to take a tape measure and basically measure the distance between the, uh, the cover and that line and split the difference. So right now, it's about an inch on the, uh, on the passenger side. About I have an inch and a half on the driver, so I got to move it my way a quarter of an inch all right so next step is we're going to release the straps and again the cover is not attached all we're going to do is just open it up next thing we're going to do is make sure that these clamps are uh, locked into place and then we're going to open it up open it up again and put it down So at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be checking the uh, the length of the uh, the cover on the bed, make sure it's even on both sides. So we look at that side; it's pretty much right at the radius between the tailgate and the bedside. If we go down, pretty much the same thing. And if we look, looks pretty good. So so we're centered left to right, and we're good on the length. So what, what we're gonna do now is. We're going to go ahead and open the cover back up. And we're going to 
fasten the two most forward clamps and we're gonna lock those two into place. All right, so when you fasten the clamps, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that the top pivot is not resting up against the uh, the bedside cap. You want actually you want it to be out, right? And the reason why is Oedra wants to have that, that clamp to be basically straight up and down so it's not uh, coming out at an angle so it doesn't have the possibility to slip. So all you want to do is just bring that out um, like an eighth of an inch so you can get your, you know, almost like your like your finger behind it so you know it's not touching and that pretty much is going to line it up with the, uh, the center line of the clamp and then you just tighten it up and there you go, just hand tighten it just so it's snug and uh, you just cinch it down. All right, so step two on the attachment, uh, Oedro actually includes safety straps. And what these are designed to do in the event, I guess, that you forget to tighten up the clamps. I don't know how that would happen, but <laughs> just in case, uh, they include these safety straps and they're, they're uh, attached to the cover. And all you do is uh, you take this clamp and you attach it to the bed rail and all you do is you, th you tighten up that thumb screw and tighten it up and that will prevent the uh, cover from uh, leaving the vehicle uh, at some point, I guess. So I've never seen these before on any cover on any truck, but nonetheless, uh, Ojo included them. So we're gonna uh, attach them for the instructions. All right, so next step, we have to adjust the, uh, the rear clamps. So right now they're just in there for storage, they're locked in. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna lift them up, we're gonna move the lock out of the way and then we're going to slide the clamp in the channel so when we open the the uh, the last panel of the cover the clamp doesn't hit the bedside all right so as far as the the rear clamps depending on the uh the configuration of your bed and your options uh again this truck has a bed liner so i did have to notch this out a little bit to allow the clamp to swing down and uh what i am going to do i do have some wear from the previous cover chipping the paint off that rail so I will be uh, hitting that with some uh, rust treatment to clean that up and prevent it from getting any worse. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take the clamp, we're gonna release it, and then put that in there, and now it's locked in. So that's all you really need to do. Pretty simple install. So let's go ahead and get out from here and uh, talk about some of the features and the options. All right, so there's the finished product. I think it looks awesome. I'm very happy with it. Definitely improves the, uh, the appearance of the truck. And it's definitely more secure uh, compared to the, uh, the soft tunnel covers. Because let's face the facts, if somebody wanted to get in there, all they had to do was really take a knife and cut it open. But with this type of hard tunnel cover, you can put stuff in the back of the bed, lock the tailgate, secure it, and you, you can really be rest assured that nobody's ever gonna try to get in, in there. So, so one nice thing about these uh, covers is uh, the uh, construction. So the way these things are constructed is on these two aluminum plates on top and bottom. In between, there's a honeycomb type of grid. And the way that's constructed is there's a honeycomb on it and basically it's going up and down. And Oedro will actually tell you that these covers can support up to 350 pounds. Uh, if you look on, the, on their website and look at the, uh, the demonstration, it actually shows people standing on these things. Um, so j it's just a, a testimony of how strong these things are. So a couple of improvements over this, the soft tonneau that we've had on it. Uh, and I noticed this um, uh, over the course of the years. Um, and they changed it on the hard one. And it, this is a nice improvement. And it's for the, uh, the attachment strap, well, the, the, the anchor for the strap. So on the soft one, uh, all there is is a, it's just attached to a little loose strap. And what will happen is if you're going down the highway and if you didn't tuck the strap in between the, the cab and the and the bedside, um, the, cab, the strap will actually dance. It'll actually hit up against the glass. It's very annoying. So the fact that this is now anchored to the, uh, to the cover, that's a huge thing. One less thing you have to worry about. Everything is nice and tight. Everything looks good. Uh, quality of it and construction is very good. Uh, nice, good, nice uh, finishes. So it, sit, it seals very well. So I was in there and I didn't see any daylight coming through. So what we'll do is actually, it's nice and tight. So one thing I didn't show you is that they include these little LED lights in the hinges. All you do is just turn them on 
And what this will do, this will illuminate the area if, in the event that you're loading something at night. And uh, so that's a nice little feature to have. So, all right. So if you like these covers, Oedro is going to offer a 15% discount on the purchase of these covers. I'm not sure how long it's going to last. So if you do want to grab these, take a look in the link and in the description of the video. It will bring you out to the storefront on Amazon, which will automatically include the 15% discount. Perfect as we're going through the holidays and getting ready for Christmas and everything else. So if you're looking to get this for yourself or somebody that you know, go ahead and click on the link and uh, you'll get a 15% discount on it. Especially through Amazon. I had this thing uh, to my door in two days uh, through Amazon Prime. So it actually worked out pretty well. Um, so yeah, I would give a huge thumbs up on this. It installed very easily. No issue. All right, if there's any questions, comments, thoughts, concerns, go and leave them in the comments box. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day. See ya.